um, siya ho ang mag-administer ng lahat ng kingdom property sa Philippines po in case uh, may mangyari po sa mga pa- executive pastor and sa board of administrators. So ang mga duties po niya is to preserve, to retain, to maintain and manage lahat po ng kingdom properties solely para sa gamit ng kingdom po. Kasi baka may mag-try po niyan, mag-take over sa mga properties and kung magta-try sila mag-hostile take over sa properties, hindi ho yan papayagan ng kingdom. And because of that, they asked the help of uh, former president, uh, president of the Philippines, uh, Duterte. Hinggil nga po dito sa pagkakatalaga ang uh, administrator ng Kingdom of Jesus Christ ni dating Pangulong Rodrigo Duterte. Yes. What do you want to know about it? Because uh, ang, the reason why they made this is because it appears that uh, the Kingdom of Jesus Christ is beset on all sides no, by challenges from, the, from Congress, uh, yung founder po nila, si Pastor Apollo Kibuloy, is also uh, being questioned both in the Senate and in the Congress as well as other agencies of the Executive Department like the NTC, the MTRCB. And now we hear that there are cases going to be filed against Pastor Kibuloy and perhaps some other people from uh, the kingdom, mga full-time miracle workers or administrators. So they decided to make this um the appointment of uh, former president uh, Rodrigo Duterte to ensure that there is continuity and may smooth operation in case anything would happen to them and then may line of succession then if anything should happen to Pastor Kiboloy or to the board of administrators of the Kingdom of Jesus Christ. Mm-mm. Ano ano ho ba yung mga responsibilidad uh, ng uh, Kingdom Administrator Attorney para sa kaalaman na rin ng ating mga kababayan? Okay. So, ang mangyari po niyan, uh, he will, um, siya ho ang mag-administer ng lahat ng kingdom property sa Philippines po in case uh, may mangyari po sa mga pa- executive pastor and sa board of administrators. So, ang mga duties po niya is to preserve, to retain, to maintain and manage lahat po ng kingdom properties solely para sa gamit ng kingdom po. Kasi baka may mag-try po niyan, mag-take over sa mga properties. And kung magta-try sila mag-hostile take over sa properties, hindi ho yan papayagan ng kingdom. And because of that, they asked the help of uh, former president, uh, president of the Philippines, uh, Duterte. And then at the same time po, mag-caretaker po si uh, President Duterte, former President Duterte, in the absence of either or both the executive pastor, which is Pastor Marlon Acobo, and or the board of administrators of the kingdom until makaresume sila ng duties nila or until magsastabilize ang any abnormal situation in favor of the kingdom. Mm-mm. Yung properties ba, eh, kasama na yung, yung uh, baga tangible, intangible properties, lahat na ng uh, properties yes, ng kingdom? Yes Yes po. Ang ibig sabihin po ng uh, mga kingdom properties, real and personal, real, yung mga lands and buildings, yung mga personal po, kung may mga sasakyan sila, or, or uh, yes, sasakyan. And then ang tangible, intangible, pwede po shares of stock, pwede po yung mga nahahawakan po na properties. Yun po ang ibig sabihin, lahat po ng properties ng kingdom, eh, ipapamahala na po kay former President uh, Rodrigo Duterte in case anything should happen to the executive, admin, uh, executive pastor and or the board of administrators of the kingdom. May uh, baga, ano na ba, threat na kakamkamin yung property ng Kingdom of Jesus Christ, the uh, attorney? Wala naman po kaming alam as of now. But this is just what you call this, uh, just being cautious, uh, just being prudent. Because sa ngayon nga po, eh, nakikita po natin, eh, nasara na po ang SMNI. Hindi po natin alam kung marirevoke po ang franchise niyan, what will happen to the SMNI. And uh, yung ibang properties po ng kingdom, baka mo may magka-interest po. Hindi po natin alam. Kasi po yung mga umalis po sa Pilipinas na mga dating workers po, eh, nalaman po namin, nagput up po sila ng corporation which might still be uh, you know, existing. And in case po may mangyari sa executive pastor or sa board administrators, they might try to come back and take over. Mm. Uh, linawin ko lang po, attorney, kailan po yung official na baga magsisimula yung mandato 
ni uh, dati Pangulong Rodrigo Duterte bilang uh, administrator ng Kingdom of Jesus Christ? Actually po, bago ko lang po napirmahan yung secretary certificate kahapon lang po, pero as of uh, as of now po, if anything should happen na po to the executive pastor and or the board of administrators of the kingdom, pwede na po mag-take over si, pasto, uh, si President Duterte po. Mm. Attorney, si Admar, may mga karagdagang katanungan po sa inyo. Mm -hmm. Salamat, Ma Jay. Ma maayong, Admar. maayong buntag, Attorney. Meron ding na idagdag dito sa, ano, sa, sa ibabang bahagi, no? Nung, uh, uh, yung mga dagdag pa ng mga kapangyarihan. Uh, kailan din po niya ito may exercise po, ma'am? Uh, uh, pag hindi na po capable yung executive pastor and uh, board of administrators, like kagaya dito sa pwede siyang magpirma ng mga pleadings, documents, agreements? Yes. Ano po, ang nakalagay po dito is in case the executive pastor or the, uh, or the board of administrators uh, are unable, incapacitated, mamatay, may mm. permanent or temporary disability, mag -re retire or in case po they are unable to perform their duties under the manual operations of the kingdom due to force majeure such as terroristic acts, pandemic, mm. earthquake, floods, or other acts of God. So uh, that means po anytime any one of them becomes incapacitated, a uh, former president Duterte can step in. Mm -hmm. So ang uh, ang kasalukuyan po naman na sitwasyon na intact pa naman po no ang executive pastor maging ang board of administrators po ni Dina. Yes, so far po, thank God, all of them are okay, all of them can perform their functions. So as of now po, hindi pa naman po kailangan. This is just in case po, just in case. Mm -hmm. How about po sa sa ibang bansa ng mga property sa cloud din po or Pilipinas lang? Sa Pilipinas lang po ito, sir. Baka may, 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 may dadagdag pa po kayo, attorney, na hindi po namin na maitanong na dapat malaman po ng taong bayan. Sa ngayon po, wala naman po. But uh, this is very clear po regarding this uh, appointment of former President Rodrigo Duterte. Nakalagay po dito to prevent hostile parties from taking over all kingdom properties in order to subvert their use for purposes other than kingdom purposes. So, klaro po yan. So, at least po, this way, we are sure that the kingdom properties will really be used just for kingdom purposes po. Mm -hmm. Yun lang naman po. Ano naman po ang maaaring uh, minsahe nitong hakbang po na ito ng pamunuan ng uh, kingdom of Jesus Christ sa lahat po ng mga kingdom citizens, mga members, buong Pilipinas, buong mundo, uh, Attorney Dina? Uh, I think this just says that the kingdom is ready to fight for what is right. The kingdom feels that it is in the right and that they have God with them. And they are asking all the kingdom citizens all over the world, wherever you may be, hold fast, stay strong, keep the faith. Attorney, dagang salamat po sa inyong oras at sa pagbibigay po ng inyong uh, informasyon ngayong umaga. Mabuhay po kayo. Sa ulitin po. Salamat, Jade Agmar. God bless. Mga kababayan, si Attorney Dina Tolentino Fuentes, ang Legal Counsel, Kingdom of Jesus Christ, kaugnay po dito sa pagkakatalaga ni dating uh, Pangulong Rodrigo Roa Duterte bilang administrator ng Kingdom of Jesus Christ.